Hello friends, this video on air and water pollution part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We have discussed about the greenhouse effect and air pollution. So now we are going to talk about water pollution. Now in a very similar way like how we talk, discussed about air pollution. In a similar way we are now going to talk about water pollution. Now when undesirable substances are found in water then we say that the water is polluted and that is what is water pollution. So contamination of water bodies with undesirable substances. So what are the water bodies which we are talking about? Now these water bodies could be lakes, rivers, ponds, sea, ocean. So all of them fall under the category of water body. Now before we talk about water pollution, let us look at the importance of water. Now needless to say, water is extremely important for the survival of all life forms. It is an important resource without which plants and animals cannot survive. So look at the various needs of human beings which depend on water. We use water for bathing, that is for cleaning ourselves. We use water for cooking, preparing food. We drink water. Without drinking water, our uh, body will dehydrate and we will not be able to survive. We use water for washing clothes, for drinking purposes and for washing utensils and other things so we use water in our day-to-day -day life do, can you, do you think that you'll be able to survive without water even for one day not really so we need water almost all the time so water is an integral part of our life so not only human beings it is true for other animals as well as plants also if you stop watering the plants in your garden for two three days do you see the changes in the plant? The plant starts drying up and if you leave it unwatered for a couple of days, the plant eventually dies. So water is extremely essential for the survival, growth and development of plants as well. So now that we know water is so important, it is very important to take care of the water bodies like lakes, rivers, oceans and ponds because those are the sources of water for us. They supply us water. So if they get polluted, if they get uh, infected with poisonous substances, then all this water which we get, they all will become polluted and they can harm us in a number of ways. Now if you look at the demand of water, that is also increasing very fast. The, with the increasing population, the water demand is also increasing so fast that in some region there is scarcity of water. So we should also understand that water is precious and that is why we should judiciously use water and stop its wastage. So now let us look at some of the harmful effects of water pollution. Now if water gets polluted with undesirable substances like what could be the undesirable substances that is the water pollutants. Now some examples of water pollutants could be detergents, insecticides, fertilizers, ammonia, human excreta, chemical wastes. They can all contaminate water. Now some of the harmful effects are they are dangerous to aquatic life forms. Now if the water in a pond becomes poisonous, if that water contains harmful chemicals, so obviously the animals which are living in water like fishes, dolphins, crabs, etc. They all completely depend on water for survival. So they are definitely going to die. So polluted water is extremely harmful for the aquatic life forms. Diseases and even death in human beings. There are so many diseases which are waterborne. For example, typhoid, cholera, dysentery. So these are all some diseases which are caused due to contaminated water and it results in um, illness. Like you tend to have vomitings or stomach ache, fever. So you actually fall ill. And in severe cases, a person can even die. So contaminated water can be that harmful. Skin problems, now taking bath in a water which contains toxic materials can cause several skin diseases, it can cause rashes, it can even cause severe skin infections and these infections occur due to the presence of uh, harmful microorganisms in water. 
adversely affect plant growth and productivity now we know how important water is for the plant so we water a plant every day so that it remains alive and it keeps growing now if that water contain poison so basically we are not watering the plant we are giving poison to the plant so what do we expect so obviously the plant will not grow proper properly it will have retarded growth the productivity will also reduce in fact the plant can even die so that means in the form of we are thinking that we are providing water to the plant but we are actually providing poison to the plant it can disturb the food chain what do we mean by food chain so the concept or the process where one organism depend on another organism for obtaining its food that is called food chain for example the green plants produce their own food by photosynthesis green plants are eaten up by other animals like cow goat so they depend on green plants now these animals like cow or goat they are eaten by other animals like lions or tigers so that's how they receive their food so this forms a food chain where one animal depends on another animal for their food now when the water gets polluted what happens is the poison enters inside the body of the aquatic animals like the fishes now these fishes might be eaten up by some other fishes like for example if the water is polluted so that means the water contains toxic substances now this water is being taken in by small uh, aquatic organisms maybe small fishes now these small fishes might be eaten up by big fishes now these big fishes also uh, contain that toxic materials now if these big fishes are in turn eaten up by human beings so they also get that toxic substance inside their body now these toxic substances can cause diseases in all these organisms which are involved in the food chain so that's how it can disturb the food chain it can cause diseases in different life forms it can even kill different life forms now if the toxic material is extremely toxic then it can immediately kill any of these so these are some of the harmful effects of water pollution and that is why it needs attention so let us thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again